Welcome to this tutorial where we will look at the use of a calculator in stat mode. That's always a better idea than trying to calculate a standard deviation by hand. We'll begin with this Sharp EL531W model calculator. So firstly we turn on the calculator with the on button. Then we press the mode button because we want stat mode. On screen it tells us that if we press 1 it will take us to stat mode, so we press 1. This offers us three different stat modes, 0, 1 and 2. We choose the simplest of those, 0, which is for standard deviation mode. So I press the 0 key. Now we're ready to enter the data. Our data consists of the numbers 7, 8 and 9, so I press 7. And then I press the data entry key, which has data written beside it. Then I press 8 and I press the data entry key. And I press 9 and I press the data entry key. Now I'd like to know the mean, X bar. X bar, the mean, is written beside the 4 key in green print. So I press the green recall key and then 4. X bar equals 8 is the correct answer. Standard deviation S or SX is written in green beside the 5 key. So I press the green recall key followed by the 5 key, which tells me that the standard deviation equals 1. Now, if I want to do a new statistical calculation, I can simply choose stat mode all over again by pressing mode and 1 and that will clear out the old data. Or if I want to go back to using my calculator in computation mode, I can choose mode and press 0 for normal. So my calculator is now restored to its normal mode. So to use your calculator in stat mode, first choose mode and stat number 1. Then choose zero, which is the simplest stat mode. We're ready to go. Suppose your three numbers are seven, eight, and nine. Type seven. Then data entry, which is this data key. Then eight, and press data entry. And then nine, and press data entry. Calculator now tells you there are three numbers entered. Now we want to know the mean. So the mean is green, and it's on this four key. So press the green recall key, then four. The mean is eight. Standard deviation, recall, and press, press 5. Standard deviation is 1. If you want to do a new calculation, you need to clear the statistical memory registers. Press the orange and the green keys, 1 for memory, and 0 to clear all the memories. We now look at stat mode on this very simple unbranded calculator. Having turned it on, choose second function on, which brings up stat mode. Now enter the data, 7 data, 8, data, 9, data. The mean x bar is here on this key, x bar equals 8, and the standard deviation on this key, standard deviation equals 1. We're now going to look at stat mode on this calculator, Casio FX83 GT+. Plus. Having turned the calculator on, first thing is press the mode key. Number 1 is computation, number 2 is statistics. Press number 2. That gives us some options. Choose the simplest option, number 1, for one variable. Here's where we can enter our data. Our data are the numbers 7, 8 and 9. 7 equals 8 equals 9 equals. The numbers are now entered. Now we do something that seems a little bit strange. We press all clear. That just clears the screen. So that now we can ask to see the statistics. Press shift and 1 to bring up the stat menu. Then press 4 for var. Then press either 2 for the mean or 4 for the standard deviation. I'll press 2 first of all and equals x bar equals 8, which is the correct result for the mean. I'll bring up shift 1, the stat menu again, 4 for var, and number 4 for the standard deviation. 4 equals, shows me the standard deviation equals 1. Let's take a look at stat mode on this Casio FX83 GTX. When you turn the calculator on, first choose Menu. Number 1 is Calculate, number 2 is Statistics, so press number 2. That gives a number of options. Number 1 is the option 1 variable. Choose that first option. Now we're ready to enter the data. Suppose our data are the numbers 7, 8 and 9. Press 7 equals 8 equals 9 equals. And we can see the numbers entering here on the screen. Now press the Option key to get the results and choose number 3, one variable calculations. Number 3, there's the mean, x bar equals 8 at the top of the screen, I know it's in small print, and I just scroll down, sx, the standard deviation, equals 1. 